Now let's see this question. This question came in gate 2016 for two marks. Now this is the question. A complete binary min heap is made by including each integer in 1 till 1023 exactly once. So all the numbers from 1 till 1023 which means that overall 1023 integers and if each of the integer is used exactly once and using those integers a complete binary min heap is formed. Now they are defining depth. The depth of a node in the heap is the length of the path from the root of the heap to that node. Okay. So what they're talking about, they're talking about, let's consider a heap, something like this. Okay, so let's say this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, 5, 6, 7, something like this. Now, here we see that there are 7 elements are here, but we can see that this is a complete binary mini. Okay, so here even if we have taken only seven elements i just wanted to show you an example that what is the structure of the heap is going to be which is a complete binary um, in heap and how many elements are there here we see that four to six one seven elements are there okay so here we see that actually seven elements are there which can be written as two cube minus one okay why i am writing something like this because actually it is a pattern for for the total number of nodes in the complete binary mini you can test it with uh, another example something like of le uh, a complete binary min heap of level one also you can check so something like one two three so here depth is here depth is root depth is zero here depth is one and here you can see that here the total number of elements in this this is also a binary min heap isn't it so two and three both are bigger than the root node which is one this is also a binary min heap and here the total number of nodes is three but i'm writing this for the sake because it is basically two square minus one now one important observation is that this can be written as something like 2 raised to the power d plus one minus one where d is the maximum depth here you can see that depth is equal to 0 for root, depth is equal to 1 here and depth is equal to 2 here. Now the maximum depth uh, in this complete binary min heap is 2. So we can write 2 plus 1, 3, so 2 raised to the 3 minus 1. In this pattern it can be written. So here the maximum depth is 1, so here it can be written as 2 raised to the power 1 plus 1 minus 1. That's why it was 2 square minus 1, which is 3. So this is the pattern which we are getting. Now, with 1, 0, 2, 3 elements, how we can uh, fit in this pattern? So it will be something like 1, 0, 2, 3 can be written as 1, 0, 2, 4 minus 1, which can be written as 2 raised to the power 10 minus 1, which is basically 2 raised to the power 9 plus 1 minus 1. And why I have written like that? Because this is going to be the D as, as, as per this structure. So this D is going to be 9 for such a complete binary min heap which is going to have 1023 elements. So that is going to have 9, uh, maximum depth of 9. Any node can have maximum depth of 9. Now let's see the structure how that uh, heap is going to look like. Okay, so that will look like something like this. So I will not draw the complete heap obviously it is not possible to draw one zero two three elements but i'm just showing you an example so here it will continue like that right here also it will continue like that so let's keep on drawing something like this so my point is that it is going to be something like this okay so in that fashion and this everything is getting filled here now my point is that here the root is going to have depth zero and it is what? It is basically the minimum element of the entire heap, which is 1. Now, see how we are uh, going to see that if depth depth 9 is, uh, is overall is there. So, it means that this is going to ha have depth of 1, this is going to have depth of 8 and this is going to have depth of 9. So, this is the way. So, all these uh, leaf nodes of the complete binary mean heap will have a depth of 9. Now, uh, we are coming back to the question. In the question, they are asking the maximum depth at which integer 9 can appear. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all, all these elements are here somewhere in this um, uh, min heap. 
we have to find that what is the maximum depth at which integer 9 can appear. Now, let's firstly understand with again with a smaller example. So, let's say this is a completely binary mini heap obviously with 7 nodes. Now, let's talk about this element 3. So, what is the maximum depth at which integer 3 can lie? This is one way where the depth is 1. But you can see that there can be other structures which satisfy the property of mini heap but still the uh, depth of these, uh, this node can be uh, different. So, what about this? Something like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. See, this is also a, uh, a complete binary min heap. It satisfies all the property of uh, min heap and it is a complete binary tree. Now, here you see that for element 3, for integer 3, here actually depth is equal to 2. Here the depth was 1. So, my point is that. In a complete binary min heap, any particular element can have many different uh, depths, but we have to find the maximum depth. So that is what we are talking about here. That for integer nine in this binary min heap with one zero two three elements, what can be the maximum depth at which integer nine can appear? Okay. So as we formed here, here also we can do something like that. One is here, two is here. Similarly, three is here, four is here, something like that. Similarly. 9 is here, 10 is here. So, in that fashion, we can see that the maximum level, maximum depth at which we can go as far as from uh, away from the root that is basically at depth 8. So, in this fashion, 9 the element, the, uh, the integer 9 can have a maximum depth of 8, but it is not that much trivial. See. This justifies only from the fact that the complete binary uh, binary uh, min heap, which is given, is having a is having a total overall depth, which um, it can be a maximum depth nine. That's why this eight is possible. See, what if instead of one zero two three elements, something like let's say two fifty six elements or something would have been given? Then we then we we would be having something like 2 raised to the power 8 minus 1, isn't it? Instead of 2 raised to the power 10 minus 1, we would have 2 raised to the power 8 minus 1. So, it, is, it will be actually 255 elements because 256 is this and minus 1, 255. If 255 elements are written, given, then it will be something like this. In that case, we are going to see that the maximum depth of any node can be 7 only. So, even if we are talking about integer 9 actually that the if they are asking about maximum depth it would have been 7 only because the entire uh, binary min heap is not having a depth more than 7 and that's why the answer would have been 7 but the answer is here 8 because our total number of integers is 1023 and for that case the maximum depth can go till depth 9. And for this, we can have situation where integer 9 can appear at a maximum depth of 8. Okay, so the answer is 8.